All right, welcome back to the channel. It is time for another episode of Mashup Monday. And if you haven't seen the first episode, definitely go back and check out that link. The objective of Mashup Monday is to find some really awesome cards, some awesome packs from previous years in the retail shops like Walmart, Shoppers Drug Mart, London Drugs, and Dollarama. So that's just to name a few. You might find some other retail packs from other suppliers, but the objective is quite clear. Now, here we are. We're going to carry on with this theme with some pristine. There are 15 cards in there. We're going to slice that open momentarily. We also have a 2002-2003 Opeachy. Nine cards in there. Look for some Patrick Waugh commemorative reprints. Wouldn't that be nice to add his rookie card in the foil variety? Hot Prospects 2007-8. You might find some autograph cards in there. A return of 2017-18 MVP Hockey. Also the 2021 Series 2. I am still on the chase for a certain rookie. But instead of 16-17 Series 2, we are going to do this 7-8 Hockey Series 2. The big prize, a Jonathan Taves Young Gun. There's also two Karask in there as well, so wouldn't that be pretty cool to pull one of those rookie cards and add that to an impressive lineup in terms of my young guns. So let's get the scissors here, slice open this pristine pack, and let's get to ripping here. So find out what's in here. It's a mashup of assorted cards as mentioned. Here is Riley Smith. Now I've not found a young gun out of this one yet but hopefully that changes here we have a tom tommy albini or tommy albolin so haven't heard that name in a while glenn anderson an oilers pc dave christian and in the back this looks to be oh that's uh flip two cards over craig muni that's a pretty solid one for a ttm perhaps martin ruchinski quebec nordique that is the fleur or fleer 92-93 Fleer. All right, we've got a victory, Adam Foote. Pretty cool card there. Another Colorado Avalanche, Alex Tange. So that is the second Avalanche is mentioned. Jacob Verana. And what do we have here? We've got a, wow, that's very flashy there. And that is from a, what's the card there? The make of that, turn that sideways, a pinnacle. So, that is an old card, if you ask me. Throwback there. All right, so that is Florida Panthers. Didn't read the name. It's tough to read that font. Oh, it's a Van Beesbrook, so the Beezer. Perhaps Freedom Suffer will enjoy that one there. Shane Corson in the score. We have a Dave Lowry in the Bowman. And this is the Puck, and that is Pro Set. That's one of the inserts. Pretty cool there. So Pro Set from back in the day just talks about some dimensions of that. So read that in your leisure. I believe I've removed my thumb so you can read all the fine print. Jim Johnson from the North Stars. And to finish off the final card from that 15 pack or 15 card pack is Andre Pavlik. Now it'd be the SP Authentic or SPX. So there we are. Pretty cool for the first 15, leading the way. Some awesome content from days past. Now let's get to the 0203. As mentioned, perhaps a reprint, a foil reprint of the Patrick Wall rookie card. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be pretty cool in my opinion. And we do start off with the Patrick Wall, but that's the All-Stars variety there. We have Sheldon Keefe. And Mark Messier turned around there. And pretty cool brown border. But that is the insert right there. That is Bill Guerin. So there's the flash, flashy card. Own the game. And that is the insert. Notice uh, Upper Deck or Opeachy was owned by Tops at that point in time. So there we are. Just wanted to point that out for 0203. So that's an insert there. Put that one off to the side. And we've got a Steve Hines, followed up with a Alexi Yashin. Now, Slapnuts is gaming. Perhaps you enjoy that one. 
That is a Yashin hit. And then we carry on with the Shane Endicott. So a lot of old names, but uh, that's pretty cool to reread or say those again. Alexei Kovalev. Kovalev. And we've got Jerome McGinley. So a little bit of flash and dash from the 90s or early 2000s. And now let's get to the Hot Prospects 2007-8. So I just want to reiterate that the objective is not to... To go off and buy those high-end cards. I mean, sure, you can get uh, one of the massive hits from that. But the objective is to try to find something in the wild. And hopefully that will be spectacular in terms of a retail rip here. So, Nikolai Habibulin. We have Brendan Shanahan. We have Henrik Lundqvist. That's the second one there. And we've got a Scott Niedermeyer. Or so, Hot Commodities is what that insert is. So, Scott Niedermeyer. And that is pretty cool. So there we are. Interesting hit there. A little bit of flamage. So let's put that off to the side. And that could be one of the showcase cards. We've got three packs to go. MVP. And perhaps we can add something spectacular to the lineup. So we've got five cards in here. We have Vincent Trocek. We have a Cali Yarncrock. Sidney Crosby. There we are. We've got Sebastian Ajo, and we end off with Anders Lee. So there we are. No puzzle pieces on that one, and no signatures either. So that'll go off to the side. But let's open these last two. Series 2, 21, 2021. I am still not going to say it. Every time I say it, nothing happens, so I'm not going to say it. But there is a rookie card in there. There's a young gun. But let's just uh, cycle through here. Brent Burns. We've got Corey Perry. Boquist. We've got Gardner. Player. Kachuk. And Falk. And we've got a Marson, Mason Marchment. So a Young Guns hit out of that. Not too bad. We didn't hit a Young Guns in the previous break. It was a Dazzler. And we didn't get any others except for the... Dazzler and another insert, but uh, here we are. Let's rub this one for good luck. 2007-8 Hockey Series 2, as mentioned. Tuka Rask, Jonathan Taves are the at the top of the list. Now, I've not opened these on the channel, nor did I open them back in the day, but I'm not sure if we've got a young gun. I oh, we do. We certainly do have a young gun. Wow. So we do have a young gun from 2007-8. So I'm going to just leave that there and let's bring out one of the, let's bring this out, fire pulling the fire. So I am going to divide that up, not going to spoil it, trying not to spoil it I believe that's the second last player there or second last card there. So Paul Korea victory and we've got some other ones, Chris Drury. We have a Robert Lang. We have the Lucky Prizes card there. Andrew Ladd. We've got Lucas Krychek. Philip Kuba. All right, so the moment of truth comes up. What do we have here? We've got a... I'm going to hide that with the fire, pulling the fire decoy. This is Brent Sopel. So hopefully there is a Blackhawk behind that, and that could be... Mr. Jonathan Taves. So what do we have here? It is not Jonathan Taves, but let me see. Let me just bring this card up closer. Daniel Cirillo. So we did happen to pull a young gun from that, and that is a pretty solid hit nonetheless in terms of breaking the odds. One in four packs. We were not guaranteed that, but number 491, Daniel Carcillo. So some excitement there. We definitely brought some heat. And wouldn't that have been amazing to pull the Jonathan Taves or Tuka Rask? But hey, I don't mind. I'm just going to do a really quick recap here. Out of this, we did get the Mason Marchment. We got the Scott Niedermeyer, the Own the Game, Bill Guerin with the Bruins. And we did get Daniel Carcillo, Young Guns. So... There you have it for this version of Mashup Monday. You let me know what you thought in the comments down below. 
like comment and subscribe for all that good stuff and as always i'll be back with more content in the near future till then bye for now